Hello friend, welcome to the channel Pharmacy Dictionary. In today's topic, we are going to continue our previous one that is root of drug administration. But in this video, we will see their basic classification. If you have KD Tripathi, if you have Lipman Court, Padma Jaudha Kumar, P. Dagir Prasad, Goodman Girman and many other pharmacology book, then you must feel there is so much confusion regarding the classification of this root of drug administration. In KD Tripathi, you will find only two types of classification, either local or systemic. But in other book, most of the case, you will find three types of classes like topical, like local and systemic. So there is a confusion in this classification. So I have decided to go through the KD Tripathi because this KD Tripathi is referred by many of the student, by many of the discipline. So let me start the different classification of root of drug administration. See, whatever effect we are expecting from the drug can be classified into its root because if we need systemic effect, that means that effect should be go through all over the body, that is called systemic effect. But if I am needing or expecting the desirable effect only a restricted part of my body, that is simply considered as a local effect. So first of all, we should understand the meaning of these two conjugative word, local and general or local or systemic. What is the meaning of local? Suppose you are living in any particular state so in that particular state there are some street in if I am talking about the particular that street in which you are living so that is called local but if you you talk about the complete city that is called a systemic or general so in part of our body consider any specific part that is considered as a local route so why we are going to take the drug, drug on basis of local root of drug administration only if we need that drug to be act on that particular part let me show you some example i have so many cream first of all i am going to explain with this antiseptic cream which is made by himalaya company this is one of the very effective cream i must say for the antiseptic point of view so if there is something in my palm or over the skin of my hand like infection rashes itching whatever it is so i should apply that cream over that particular part so that there will be a direct contact between that particular lesion and this kind of antibiotic or antiseptic cream so this will act directly and it will not go through the different pathway different mechanism it will give its action directly and the second one is anti-burn cream as you know it is it is applied over that particular part of your body which has been contacted with the flame. The next one is anti-scar cream. If suppose some insect has bitten on the part of my hand, after some time there is a some patches, there is some scar. So to remove that scar, I have to apply this kind of cream over that particular affected part. So this is considered as a local route. So let me explain some detail about it all. That is for localized lesion a lesion or erosion which is take place in particular part of your body i have to apply that drug on that particular part only next systemic absorption is minimal or absent or uh, important thing the systemic absorption means the drug which you have taken or cream which you have applied should go through the blood or not that's called systemic but in this case the drug will go minimal or absent that means either the drug will go very slightly not exactly point of view but very slightly or not that will be called systemic absorption but in case few few drug the few drug applied over the skin may go through the systemic circulation but the chances of being this kind of effect is very rare most of the case it is absent so coming to the example because these are very important to make you better understand the concept as per the kd3 party the, the examples are first one is topical what is the meaning of topical over the skin is called topical as i shown you the different types of cream even i am going to show you again this is the biotic product the night cream which we applied over the face at the time of night so that it will give a glowing and soothing effect on particular part of your body that means skin that means face where you were applied so this topical root are external application to the surface or local for localized action i am expecting the glow in my face not in my hand that is why i applied that night cream over my face that is called localized action desirable action on a particular and restricted part of our body and next one says like cream powder spray etc i have shown you the example of cream 
the talcum powder which we applied or dusting powder we applied over the part of particular part of our body that is called localized effect and that is considered under the topical route of drug administration whenever we feel ache or there is something cramp effect we apply different kind of analgesic spray only over that particular part which is being affected by some kind of spasm or cramp or different types of pain now coming to the second one that is deeper tissue whenever we apply such kind of application of drug or the deeper tissue level that is considered as a localized but that is will be considered under the sub part of deeper tissue let me explain you a uh, approach to deeper area using different types of syringe and needle is considered as a deeper tissue administration under the local route but let me clear one more thing but that should be remember but but drug should not reach to the systemic circulation we have to introduce that drug suitable drug up to that level from where that drug should not go through the systemic absorption that means that drug should not absorb into the blood that should be available only that particular restricted part and the example of this is like intra articular injection it is not intra atrial it is intra articular injection that means we have to inject some kind of drug at the knee joint so that a local effect of drug may be produced only at the particular part of knee joint i cannot show you the exact knee but in the part of knee so that the pain inflammation or whatever any unwanted effect was about to happen can be minimized by using this kind of route of drug administration so intra articular is under the deeper tissue and the deeper tissue is placed under the local root of drug administration now coming to the next one that is arterial supply now it is interesting see the concept close intra atrial is not atricular now it's atrial arteries and veins so close intra atrial injection is used for the contrast media in angiography we are not saying that intra atrial it is not inside the artery but it is close to the artery not exactly inside the artery the words are very meaningful so please pay attention that may cause confusion it is not intra atricular it is not intra atrial it is close to the intra atrial that means a network of atrial we have to place the drug just surrounding to that why we are using this kind of route of drug admission to get a contrast very clear very visible angiography angiography means a, a technique to visualize or to study the inside phenomena of blood that is called blood vessel actually that's called angiography now coming to the next route of drug classification that is systemic route the systemic route is that route at which we have to apply the drug so that drug will reach to the blood supply and along with the blood after being absorbed by the drug that drug will move or reach throughout the body each and every part of our body so that it may produce its action now there is the condition that drug property is very important i said all over the body but in most of the case that is specified if the drug is lipid soluble or highly lipid soluble then only it may cross blood brain barrier and different types of other body barrier otherwise it is not having potency to cross that bbb or bpb that is stand for blood placental barrier or blood testis barrier btb so depends upon the profile of drug as i have explained you in the earlier classes physical and chemical property solubility is very important for the action point of view now coming to the main point that is systemic route it is introduced or is this kind of drug is intended to be absorbed in blood our objective our motive our effort is for the absorption to allow the drug to be absorbed by the blood and that drug will distributed all over the body through the circulation because we know blood is example of connective tissue that reach throughout the body for all each and every part so if any drug get dissolved in the blood that will flow along with the blood wherever the blood will goes the drug will go along with that particular blood and produce a desirable action at it respect site of action now coming to the examples of this systemic route we have few example like oral so let me clear you first the names of this kind of example then i will explain one by one oral sublingual or buccal rectal dermal inhalational nasal 
and parenteral and under the parenteral we have subcutaneous intramuscular intravenous and intradermal injection so these were example of systemic root of drug administration and from the next classes we will continue to focus this root of drug administration that will be limited to systemic root now in short let me clear about the some basic concept regarding this sub roots first of all oral whenever we take any tablet any capsule any syrup via the oral route of drug administration that will goes to the stomach from the stomach it will start disintegration then dissolution or if it is an already dissolved form it means solution form that will be completely dissolved and that goes to the systemic circulation via the small intestine and before that case that will have to go for the bio transformation or simply metabolism and that will reach to the portal vein so in some case not always in some case the drug may be inactive just because of metabolism in some sequence or we can say the consequence of metabolism which is a part of ADME and that is in a complete topic we have to see it other in, in upcoming classes so in metabolism there are so many consequences active drug may get inactive inactive drug may be converted to into active form like pro drug the toxic substance may be converted into less toxic the non polar substance should be converted into polar so that it may get easily eliminated or excreted from our body so there are so many consequences with the oral route of drug administration and it has to go first pass metabolism that means the drug will go to the first liver then metabolize then to the systemic circulation that is basic limitation of oral route of drug administration now second one is sublingual or buccal whenever we place the tablet beneath the tongue that is called sublingual like trinitroglycin is example of anti anal drug that will go through the systemic circulation via the different types of capillary present beneath the tongue so this is called sublingual and if we place the drug beside the cheek that will also go through that particular route avoiding the intestinal route because the other name of oral route is enteral and enteral means via the intestine and apart from oral all these route of drug administration are para enteral that means our apart from the oral route apart from the intestinal route the next one is the rectal route there are some medicine which has to be given by rectal route if that drug particular drug is causing irritation particular drug is causing vomiting or any other unwanted effect by oral route of drug admission then that drug should be administered via rectal route and if you need any desirable effect like in case of piles hemorrhoids then the drug or cream should be applied only at particular route of drug admission that is limited to rectal route the next one is dermal like transdermal so we have to apply some patches over the skin so that the drug from that particular reservoir will start releasing and that will be absorbed by superficial skin layer so that the desirable effect may be achieved the next one is inhalation this is one of the most important route in case of specific or can say target specific route of drug administration if i am having some nasal decongestion so i have to use nasal decongestion like spray or wix inhaler that should be in the form of inhalation if i am having some lungs infection or like tuberculosis problem so the new strategy says we have to apply that particular drug directly to the part which is being affected by some kind of bacteria so only inhalation route will allow us to deliver that drug directly to the lungs or different parts of the lungs next one is uh, nasal route the inhalation and nasal route can be combined together but specifically if you allow me to differentiate the nasal root will limited to the nasal cavity only only in case of congestion but inhalation will be grow through the lungs but in many of the book these two root of drug admission has been combined together next one is parenteral the exact meaning of parenteral is that para and enteral para stand for other than enteral stand for via intestine so any root of drug administration which bypass the oral that means intestine is considered as a para enteral that means parenteral root of drug administration under the parenteral root of drug administration there are some sub classes or sub type like first one is subcutaneous as they stand for subcutaneous whenever i pull the pull the skin over like this and i will inject the injection with needle with this place that is called subcutaneous root of drug administration next one is intramuscular 
in our body there are some places where the level or amount of muscles are higher like deltoid muscle so we have to introduce that particular injection at that particular part like back side and in arm we can inject drug as a intramuscular but in case of intravenous we have to find the vein then only we have to introduce that particular drug so that the drug will directly goes through the blood as we are studying about the systemic route there is no need to disintegration dissolution absorption because the drug is directly going through the blood going along with the flow of blood next and the last one is intradermal injection where we have to apply the drug under the dermal part like in case of bcg vaccine where blab has to be produced so this was simple classification as per the kd3 party book so that you will feel easy in upcoming lecture so for today's lecture i think this is sufficient allow me to leave the classes and please do take care of yourself along with i am expecting your feedback in comment box so if you want to take the screenshot of this whiteboard section you may have it after some time please do take care of yourself again thank you